Hello there, Dan the Weatherman here. Hey, welcome to my weather show. Taking a look at the weather for New Zealand for the coming week, it's a much quieter week. We don't have any big mean nasties from the Southern Ocean. We don't have any frigid cold outbreaks with a big, big fat high. It's just typical weather of sorts. The westerlies bring in different weather systems. The yellow is the cloud, the black lines are the streamlines, and this is what we've got going on. One system there, a few showers as we finish off the long weekend, just skirting by some rumbles of thunder there, probably just going to, to the north of parts of North. And these guys here, these little clumps of yellow, a couple of systems that'll work in to start off the week with some wet weather. And you can see the churn of some cooler air. It's mainly Southern Ocean air, but just put your eyes back to this bend here. That's some upper level energy and just the wisps of yellow cloud that will come in and just create what will be perhaps a low for some parts of the country as you go through the middle part of the week. And look at this uh, stream of cloud here. Warm waters in the Indian Ocean starting to have a bit of an effect on what's going on. This is how we start the week. Blue is energy, upper trough, quiet with the red. This is the system here streaming towards us, which by midweek sets off and then becomes a bit of a cut off low, just a bit of energy to bring some wet weather to parts of the north of the country. The same trough is providing a front to the far south, you push it through. And by the end of the week, that's another system trailing back, but a new area of high pressure to work in. So it's things from the west. It's pretty quiet weather. There aren't mean nasties of sorts. Monday, remember the weak front? It's this little one here. So it slides through the far south Monday morning. In Vercargill, Dunedin, you get a quick spell of rain. And this is probably by about lunchtime there. There's the front moving towards Christchurch. But you can see how stuff is gathering. Remember the thing I pointed out? That's upper energy developing what is an area of low pressure in the Tasman Sea. A high to the north, so much of the North Island on Monday is fine. And with the flow from the west, temperatures are where they should be for the time of year. 10, 11, 12 down south, places like Auckland, places like Hamilton, 16 or 17. And there'll be, of course, some overnight frosts here and there. Tuesday. This thing starts to develop as the upper trough comes in. It just gives it some oomph. That's a forming low. That's wet weather for places like Wellington and probably the upper South Island on Tuesday. You dry either side to the North Island and down south. Blue line, that's our snow level of about a thousand meters just as reference, but a new high coming in there building in for the course of a Tuesday into Wednesday. Then another piece of a front skinny guy slides into the far south on Wednesday morning, places like Dunedin, and probably the west coast gets some patchy rain or showers. See how this is starting to wind up? And a couple of days ago, it was further south. Could bring a brief spell of some rain and some wind for parts of Northland and Auckland going into Wednesday, but it may just cut off a bit further north, meaning it's really only the far north. You get a band of rain from the same front moving across the North Island on Wednesday, but look at that high. That settles in. By the end of the week, that builds back across the North Island, so you're back into quiet weather, good washing day. Then there's a new system coming in from the Southern Ocean. A few more lines of uh, thickness there. That shows some colder air, which could drop the snow level down a little bit lower for the end of the week. That's a spell of rain for Thursday going into Friday, and with that squeeze of the ice bars, crank up the wind as well, strong, maybe severe gales to some of those exposed coasts, but places to the far south, Invercargill, Dunedin, and much of the west coast, you've got a good belt of some rain, and dropping that snow level to a few hundred meters, so that'll be a nice little top up for some of the ski fields down south. Front is clearing the far north, and then remember that big red area? That's the big building ridge, which gets us into the weekend. It's a blustery southwest flow, which starts to ease back going through Saturday into Sunday, bring in the high, unless there's another little cheeky guy just coming in the flow. But quiet week overall with a couple of fronts to work through. Rainfall, probably the eastern parts of the North Island stays the driest this week in a west to southwest flow, west to the South Island, the wettest, over 100 millimeters, probably on that second system, into the far north, places like Northland, maybe Hamilton, 10, 20 millimeters, and the east of the South Island, where you see green, that's probably about five to 10, maybe 15, that is it. That's how it looks for the week. Yeah, you'll need the extra layers. It is winter, but there aren't mean and nasties. It's pretty much a well-behaved week overall. That's the weather for now.